up YouTube welcome back to another uh, dark side performance video today we're gonna be putting the 8.8 uh, .8 into the uh, s10 I got these perches that I bought here locally in town they're about 13 bucks um, you can order them online as well they're not they're pretty inexpensive um, the 8.8 .8 is already cut <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is center this first then we're gonna put the U-bolts in. I'm gonna use the stock U-bolts from the Explorer that I pulled this out of. And after we have it all centered and everything, I'm gonna just tighten all the U-bolts down, put the axles in, and then put the tires on, and drop the truck, make sure our pinion angle is correct. Ideal pinion angle is anywhere from one to three degrees. So the diff should be one to, two degree, one to three degrees up. And the trans will be one to th uh, should match the angle. So if the diff is three up, transmission has to be three down. Uh, you you have a tolerance of one degree, so you can be at one and two or two and three doesn't matter. But ideal is in between one and three, no more than five from what I've heard. And. To center this, we're gonna, we just have these uh, straight edges clamped onto the ends here. And we'll measure until we have the exact uh, measurement um, from the frame to our straight edge on both sides. I, I'll give you guys those measurements. This is a, this is a basic cut on an 8.8 where you uh, cut the, the long side to match the short side. For anybody looking to buy an 8.8, what I recommend you do is buy one from a Mustang from what I've heard they already come one they already come shortened to this length two you'll have Mustang ends once you have Mustang ends you can then use uh, C-clip eliminators so I bought Mosier axles but th nobody makes a C-clip eliminator for an Explorer end <clears throat> so if I want to put C-clip eliminators on this I have to cut off these ends and then put Mustang ones it's a lot more work than just buying a Mustang one and then cutting all the stuff off that one and then just putting perches on it. Alright folks, we got this all uh, centered in. Uh, the way we did it was um, this truck is on lowering blocks, total of 5 inches. And uh, the way I did it was I put all these blocks in and the leaf spring perch. <clears throat> and I had them all loose. And then I, I started measuring on each side until I had the exact measurement on this side. We have a straight edge here clamped on to the outside of the end. And we measured each side. Um, the perfect measurement we came out with, make sure you measure from the same spot. We use this bolt hole here on both sides. The measurement we came out with is, uh, what is it? Five and three thirty seconds. Five and three thirty seconds on this on each side, and then you're uh, perfectly centered. Um, we got it right on the dot, but uh, if you're off a, a sixteenth, even up to even if you're off a eighth, you're really only off a sixteenth on each side. So that should that should be good. And as far as the pinion angle, I use this uh, angle finder. I set that while I had it in the air. I uh, I had to do this a few times, uh, put it on and set it down, and keep doing it until we got it right. But for this drop, I estimated about three degrees. So if you're gonna set it while it's in the air, you set it to about six. Once you put it on, once you put the axles in and put the wheels on, it drops about three degrees. So that should put you perfect right around three. Mine's at about 
right in between three and four. So that's where we'll put the trans. The trans can be at three or, or four because we have a, a degree of tolerance. And then after I had all that set, I tightened down the U-bolts real tight, checked everything again, and then I just tack welded the perches in. Now we'll take everything off, weld the perches completely on, and then put it all back in. So the rear end is in, I got the brakes, uh, calipers, new pads, got the rotors on, put the Mosier uh, axle cap on. Now for shocks, as you guys can see, I put the uh, stock Explorer bottom piece on there. And that's not going to work just because it just doesn't line up right with the shock. So I still have the stock S10 ones and the u-bolt is wider so we're gonna have to elongate these holes probably just one set of them i'm gonna try and just elongate these back ones and then i can just put this stock one on and put the stock in its the shock in its stock location so our rear end is now completely in you guys we got the bed on the truck and uh we were able to use um the stock this piece from the s10 the stock one this one's from the explorer we use the stock one from the s10 and all we had to do was squeeze the u-bolt like this it takes a little more than this it takes two hands but you just squeeze it enough and then uh it'll slip right into the stock ones that way you can use your uh stock shocks And uh, that's going to be it for this video, you guys. <laughs> We're going to be in uh, LS Fest West um, out in Vegas. So we'll have some footage. Hopefully there's some street racing out there. And maybe some stuff from the track. And then when we get back from LS Fest, we're going to go hit the streets of Albuquerque too. And um, the EP should be running by then. So we'll have... Um, some street racing. Thank you guys for watching. Se la lavan.